a squad. Make your lady back up in this, pop up in the six. And you should ignore these rappers, man. They say anything. Call me Susie Piggy Bank. I got plenty change. She rep HBK to king over everything. Married to the gang with the wedding rag. Everybody try to duplicate. We just innovate. Young and making plenty cake. Get my n***a straight. I'm a heartbreak vet. Being broke, what I can't accept. I'ma hold it down to the death. No Reeboks, cause it's all about a check. Bet a million dollars that your man ain't like this. Cause I stack my chips. I'm on my grind. Mind on money, money on my mind. So if you in the way, I'll run you over. It's the heartbreak on me, I'm a soldier. Huh? Wherever I go, my homies come to. I love my squad. We up in this thing. change with the name on the check and that's real that's real that's real i don't know about y'all but i'll die by respect and that's real that's real that's real i'ma live in the meantime haters telling me to chill because they need time huh? rest in peace it's the g8 and g hate on me because we ain't leave the seat bacon we taking the rap game to a new place i swear that we got this tie like a shoelace for real wherever i go my homies come to a love Thanks for joining us live for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Here in Memphis, we have an interconference matchup with the Grizzlies looking to create some cheers for this crowd. All right, let's set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Taking a look at the Bulls. Rose is the one with Butler is the two. At small and power forward, it's Dunleavy and Gasol. And it's Noah in at the five down low. And I tell you what, anytime you get those easy ones, that basket starts to get bigger. Memphis on defense. Oh, and the jam by Butler. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro, and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. You know, guys, one of the things that is always going to keep you competitive against the West is a good defense. It's one reason why the Bulls tend to be a tougher matchup for teams from the West, because they do D up. There's Rose with the three. For Memphis, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And Butler sends it back. They're one of four here to start, looking to get into a flow offensively. Dunleavy dishes to Noah. No good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. And it's Conley penetrating. Last season, Memphis fell late and would end up with the fifth seed in the NBA playoffs. Only one of two teams to make the playoffs each of the last five seasons, along with the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, and they were a team that nobody wanted to play. Memphis drew Portland in that first round, and even though they were the fifth seed, they had home court advantage. You don't see him have too many of those trips to the line. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. In transition, here come the Bulls. And it's Butler with the jam. And a great job of taking advantage of the steal there to get those easy ones in transition. You know, that's exactly how you draw it up, Greg, on the board. I mean, good defensive work, aggressive play in the open court. Those two things are hand in glove when they work together. Outside Rose goes up on the high post. And Gasol sends it back. Here's Green. Rose with the block. Randolph. Zero. And he gets it to go from the high post. Here's Noah. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. Yeah, and, and when he's got a lead like that, why not? 
take a few chances. A lot more engaging and entertaining than just doing the old ho-hum one-handed. Here's Lee. Boom, he jams it straight down. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. Gasol kicks the butt. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. And, you know, that lead's only going to grow if they're not prepared to defend a little more staunchly than that. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Bulls. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steals. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. Already seizing control of this game. Total control, Greg, and as well as they're playing at both ends, I look for this lead to get even larger. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Right, he's checked in for Gasol. Barnes comes in for Jeff Green. Tony Allen's checked in for Courtney Lee. And it's Udrick in for Mike Conley. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah. Miritich comes in for Mike Dunley. Kirk Heinrich, he's checked in for Butler. And Brooks subbed in for Rose. Kicks it out to Allen. Tries again. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the board. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. They've worked hard and created great chances for themselves in this opening quarter. And if they match that effort at the defensive end, watch out. Heinrich inside the three-point line. No good off the back of the rim. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot up. You know, he might be small for a center, but it doesn't really matter because he can jump out of the building. Brooks with the bucket. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. That's what I like. A nice, strong finish inside. That's what he does. He's got that dunker mentality. My goodness. Physicality personified right there. Able to just go up and finish over the biggest defender. And he just big boyed him right there. The height advantage he's got down low. Really difficult for them to defend. Allen passes to Udrick. With one on the clock. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Bulls lead back by 10. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? They came out with, with the purpose of playing for one another, making the extra pass throughout that first quarter. Guys, that is simply just good basketball. I mean, really good basketball. Total team effort out there. Conley and Allen in the backcourt. Carter is out there with Green. And it's Gasol at the five. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Now here is Carter. Out to Conley. Elbow shot is on the way. Bulls have had a great rebounding team for a long time now. Last season was no different. Yeah, it has so many categories to measure how well a team rebounds. The, the Bulls were in the top three in almost all of them. Lee's checked in for Allen. They double team Conley. He feeds it to Carter. The Grizzlies with another miss. The Bulls leading by nine. Stolen by Conley. And it's Memphis on the break. And with the ball, good. Gasol's got his first bucket in this one. 
Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. As for the Bulls and rebounding, I mean, they were second in the league in winning contested rebounds. That's another data analytics stat for you folks. Second overall in total rebounds, too. That drive by Carter. Green dishes to Gasol. And the powerful one-handed slam. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered, huh? Some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Tell you what, fellas, that could give them the energy boost they've been looking for. Here's Conley. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, good job to take it right at the knee. Yeah, really left them no choice there, Greg. I mean, he had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. Grizzlies making a switch here. Barnes is checked in. Tony Snell. And with the big men the Bulls have, it's easy to see why they rebound so well. But make no mistake, guards and bigs alike rebound well on this Bulls team. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Lee. And how about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Terrific little tater tate going on right now. Back and forth. Here we go. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move, too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. And, and I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely threw that one down. They recover it. Here's Conley. They get it back. Drills it from outside. And it's a three-point Grizzly lead. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Memphis. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. They're crashing the offensive glass hard, too. I mean, they've dropped in several second-chance baskets. And that one's good. Conley's got eight here in the quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. To the left wing. Five on the clock. Here's Snell, covered by Barnes. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Brandon Wright's checked in for Gasol. Randolph comes in for Green. Allen's checked in for Lee. And it's Udrich in for Mike Conley. And Udrich kicks to Randolph. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. You know, Dave Yeager, the coach for the Grizzlies, has really become a big-name coach quite quickly. You know, he's worked his way up the Memphis coaching ladder and has had a ton of success early on in his career. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Butler. There's 39 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Barnes passes to Randall. Can't connect from short range. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases the degree of difficulty on that shot by a large amount. Here's Butler from the line. That's good. Butler's got 10. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Stolen by Noah. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's the Grizzlies leading by just two. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports.
And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. Yeah, you just love it when the decision making is as good as it was there in that first half. Didn't force anything. Guys, I think here in the second half, though, they may want him to be a little more assertive. Start hunting more for his shot. Even the tough one. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. It's been about his ability to just lock down the opponent from a defensive standpoint. A lot of shots also being blocked. That reach he's shown, Greg, has certainly been fantastic in getting to some of these shots. I mean, he looks like he's got telescopic arms out there. So for Chicago right now, at small and power forward, it's Dunleavy and Gasol. Rose is the one with Butler as the two. And it's Noah in at the center position. Here's Rose. Michael Conley making his last shot. Shoots from the baseline. And Lee pulls it down. Lee's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Noah with the block. Butler attacking. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that. And 12 points for Jimmy Butler. That kind of power move has become a trademark of him. I tell you what, he has quite the act to follow, but Fred Hoiberg was a quick choice for the brass in Chicago. Signed that five-year deal over the summer was easily one of the most in-demand coaches available. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a tough time getting it going here. And that's how it's done. I mean, find that <laughs> hole in the D and then go hard to the rack. Maybe that hole is a little bigger than it should have been. Well, it was. I mean, a tight game like this one, you think they'd have a little more energy at the defensive end than that. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Well, Greg, for Hoiberg, it's his first job as an NBA head coach. Now, we know he played. He's been a part of an NBA front office. Mm -hmm. Clark, he came from Iowa State, where he honed his coaching skills and was highly respected. Yeah, very much respected, particularly as an offensive coach. And we know the Bulls are pretty solid defensively, and he'll be looking to ramp up that offensive approach for that team, and I think he will. That gives them the lead. And that's now 10 points for Aaron Brooks. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. And then Gasol with the dunk. And that almost feels like two buckets coming off the steal like it did. And especially the fact that it now ties the game. The lead was about to be stretched out, and instead, it's back in. Bulls shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And the first one at the line is good. Carter, he's checked in for Memphis. And both free throws good for Brooks. For Memphis, they've gone two of five shooting here in the third quarter. And it's Conley penetrating. Up and in on the layup. Conley's got it all tied up now for the Grizzlies. Now complicated, I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Well, I tell you, the Grizzlies guys were really dominant in the first half of the season last year, but after the All-Star break, barely played above 500. Goes up again, and Gasol. Sends it back. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. The game's just far too easy right now when it comes to attacking the basket. They have got to do better. Noah kicks to Gibson. Noah with it. 
And it's Carter picking him up. That's a two from Butler. Here's Noah. And that one's good. Noah's got five points in the quarter. Just lazy defense on the glass there. Well, nobody boxed out. Nobody put a body on anybody else. Things like that not only drive the coach crazy, that stuff gets under my skin. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's going to be on Zach Randolph. Chicago shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Yeah, they had the kind of success from the line that would make any coach breathe a sigh of relief, guys. And Memphis making a change here. Lights checked in. Butler on the way. Wants to get it off to Noah and does. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And this is why you need good defenders on the interior to contest shots. Yeah, Greg, making every shot a hard one, even the shots in close. Stolen by Randolph. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Barnes is checked in for Carter. Chicago also making some changes. Gasol comes in for Joakim Noah. And... Derek Roses subbed in for Aaron Brooks. Barnes kicks to Udrek. And another miss by Memphis. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Bulls always seem to be tough on the road, and last season, no different. They would end with 23 road wins on the year. And that number was good enough for the second most in the East. Unlike shooting, it's very hard for defenses to go cold, and that's why the Bulls have been so good on the road. And, and guys, touching back on the Bulls on the road, to, to illustrate how good they are on the road, last season marked the fifth straight year of a road record above 500. Incredible consistency as a franchise. Some changes for Memphis. Green comes in for Zach Randolph. And it's Lee in for Udrick. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Gibson. He is yet to get into the flow of this game. His teammates have done their part, but they need him to pick his game up. Guys, we're not through three quarters of play, but six lead changes already in this one. Yeah, it's been a really good game for sure. I mean, it looks like it's going to stay tight throughout. Yeah, competitive, and, and I think we all can agree that we thought this would be the type of game that would come down to the end. Wow, the floor just really opened up for him on that possession. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for good offense, but that was just a... Terrible reaction from the defense. I hope he didn't hurt his neck because that was one nasty, nasty head fake. Well, the defender bought. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. Bulls lead by one. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. A lot of defense with Conley and Lee in the backcourt. Marcus Saul is out there with Green. And it's Barnes in the three slot. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. And stolen by Miritich. Here's Gibson. 
and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And, and guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. The drive by Brooks, and the layup is good. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, high percentage shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts, and that's just not going to get it done. They've got to figure it out. And Memphis making a change here. Randolph has checked in. Brooks dishes to Miritich. The rebound by Gasol. That's one he knows he should have drained. And Green slams it in. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Man, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas. Conley into the lane. Left side Gasol. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Gasol's got it all tied up now for Memphis. Oh, nice play there to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. Just a whisker away from coming up with the steal there. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Gibson. Dunley becomes in for Tony Snell. And it's Butler in for Kirk Heinrich. Conley into the lane. That's good. And the Grizzlies lead by two. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Noah, the pass to Butler. Six to shoot. The tray. But they'll get another chance. Brooks outside. Feeds it to Dunleavy. Back to Brooks. He kicks it to Dunleavy. Second chance shot. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. Allen's checked in for the Grizzlies. The Bulls also changing it up. Saul comes in for Miritich. And it's Rose in for Brooks. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are. And their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Here's Butler, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Now, nice work there to contest the finish inside. You know, they got the shot they wanted, but his defense, I mean, deterred them from those playing. Well, you, you can't give him that kind of a position in the post. Oh, without question. I mean, when you get it, when he gets it in that tight and that close, that's easy, real easy. I guess he didn't appreciate getting scored on on that last trip. I guess not. He threw it down right on top of him. How about that guy's a big-time answer? He says, you think you can score on me? Prepare for posterization. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second despite being down that's exactly when you need to be aggressive greg you know that i mean another good job though of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line well i tell you he squeezed that orange as tight as he could before that throw down yeah no way he was going to lose that thing on the way up you're right Clark. And, and better safe than sorry on that one guys hardly inside the line a quick shot there and it's off target bulls trail by four Here's Butler. Grizzlies with the rebound. Major defensive lapse right there. 
mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Rose kicks the butt. Count it! And he has brought them to within two points. As clutch a shot as I have ever seen. In a word, gutsy. Guys, they're not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. I mean, now's the time to use the clock to your advantage. Take your time. Milk the clock a little bit. Randolph draws the double. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. That was a critical trip to the strike. They have a two-possession lead now. No time to spare. They need a bucket. Without question. A dent, maybe a steal or a foul to get the clock stopped as well. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. Yes. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And that's exactly how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. Especially on a three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. He makes the second free throw, and that shrinks the margin to just four. And so he's good on all three free throws, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Seven seconds left to play here on the fourth. And Gasol sends it back. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as Clark, they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal. Yep, and it might not be the way a coach would have drawn it up or wanted it to end, but these fans loved it. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. So long.